Digestion begins in the mouth or oral cavity, where food is chewed and moistened with saliva. Saliva is produced in three main pairs of salivary glands, the largest of these being the parotid, which lies just in front of the ear. The submandibular glands are located in the lower jaw, and the sublingual are under the tongue. The tongue is a membrane-covered skeletal muscle that presses food against the hard palate of the roof of the mouth to aid in mixing. Once the food has been thoroughly chewed, muscle contractions produced by the tongue force the mixture, now called the food bolus, into the throat, called the pharynx, and then into the esophagus. The esophagus carries the bolus through involuntary muscle contractions called peristalsis to the stomach. The stomach is a muscular sac lined with a mucous membrane. It stores and mixes food, secretes substances to dissolve and degrade food, and controls the rate at which food enters the small intestine. Food that has been thoroughly digested in the stomach is called chyme, and it is contractions of the stomach that push it through a sphincter into the small intestine. In fact, depending on the acidity and fat content of the chyme, it can take the stomach two to six hours to empty. The inner lining of the small intestine is highly folded, with enormous surface area that facilitates the absorption of nutrients. The main function of the large intestine is the concentration and storage of undigested matter. It also absorbs mineral ions and water and bacteria found here produce vitamins and useful fatty acids. Concentrated wastes become feces, which is stored in the rectum until eliminated through the anus. The liver, gallbladder, and pancreas are accessory organs with roles in digestion. The liver secretes a greenish digestive fluid known as bile. It stores this fluid in the gallbladder, which is later emptied into the small intestine when chyme is present to help the breakdown and absorption of fats. The pancreas produces pancreatic juices consisting of digestive enzymes and buffers that are added to the chyme in the duodenum, the duodenum being the first part of the small intestine. If you have any further questions or comments, please use our website at biology-forums.com. Thank you for watching.